Well, storm tracker Kelly Williamson and Randy Yarnell go head to head with every storm imaginable in the new exciting series, Storm Wranglers. Learn how Kelly's brush with an EF4 tornado ignited his passion to hit the road. It's a show you'll only see on the Weather Channel. Here's a sneak peek. You're looking at a live tornado right now. This is uh, just outside of Dodge City, Kansas. Our storm trackers are on for you right now. One of the things I really like about doing this is we're able to stream it live right on the Weather Channel while it's happening. You know, people can sit at home where it's safe, and uh, we're out there getting the shot for them. You know, they can sit there and watch it on their TV screen, and uh, we enjoy doing it. Kelly's an interesting guy. He's a farmer by original profession. And it's pretty well known that farming is one of the professions most attuned to the weather. So most farmers are sort of their own weather forecasters. And I think maybe that has helped Kelly a lot in terms of his then transferring to storm chasing. Of storm Wranglers is this Sunday, 9 Eastern, 8 Central here on the Weather Channel. Look who's joining us live here. Randy and Kelly are joining us. Ah, storm Master G is here as well. Guys, this is this is pretty exciting. Did you ever in a million years think that you would go from farmer to storm spotter for the weather service to hobbyist chaser to your own TV show? Never, never, never. What was it like this past spring and summer out there chasing? What, what were the most memorable moments to you? Of course, the tornadoes, you know, that was the, the most memorable stuff, but... Uh, you know, the people around the tornadoes, you know, it, it really let me see, you know, the real people. You know, they were, you would think somebody gets their house just tore completely apart, that they would just, it's how they, how they handle it. You know, the people has got a real good way of handling it. You'd think they would just be devastated. They probably are, they're probably in shock, but, you know, they handle stuff so well. Do you have a most memorable moment or a most memorable storm that you can uh, can think of? No, oh, it would have had to have been Dodge City. You know, that was just an epic deal. You know, we was in the right place at the right time to get the right shot, you know, and that don't happen very often. All right, the two of you chase a lot together. What's, what's the, what are the roles that you do here? I drive. I'm in charge of the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Which in itself is a tough job. Yeah, it is. When you're trying to maneuver where there's a tornado or there's chaser convergence, there's a lot of traffic out there, it's a tough job. It is. And what are you doing, yeah. Kelly, when he's driving? You're Tell telling him where to go. Tell him where to drive. <laughs> <laughs> How to drive. Which way to turn. What are you what are you following in the passenger seat? You know, I, I watch the radar a lot, but I always watch the roads. You know, we always want to watch the roads two or three turns ahead. You know, we always want to know where we're going to go, and if that gets blocked, where's the other way to go? So, you know, we always try and have an out, so I'm always trying to watch the roads a lot, mainly. And, uh, and Randy, you kind of, I guess, have the, the thankless job in that uh, you'd probably sooner be watching out the window at the storms, but you really got to be keeping an eye on the roads, right? You know, yeah, you really got to watch the road because you got other drivers and, you know, hail or whatever, tree limbs. So, yeah, I, I have to watch the road. You guys get pretty close to some storms. Have you ever had, you know, kind of that hair raising moment where you went, uh oh? Yeah, we've had that happen. You know, well, we was on one storm there in Dodge City, and, uh, you know, we was watching it coming down through there, and it kind of dissipated. And we were right where if another one was going to form, it did, and it did. <laughs> right where we was at. <laughs> what, what was that? So what was that conversation like between the two of you at the time? A few go, Randy's go. like, well, there's a few choice words that I yeah. can't repeat on yeah. television. Yeah, I, I think they edited that. <laughs> Randy, Kelly, thank you for being here. By the way, you are going to get an opportunity to talk live with these two gentlemen. Send us your questions right now on Twitter. Use the hashtag WUTV. We'll be asking your questions live coming up in our next block here on Weather Underground. And also tonight, still following Hurricane Matthew. We know an extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane in the Caribbean. We're going to break down the latest data and why the U.S. needs to pay very close attention to this powerful hurricane. 
And uh, before the break, we're joined by uh, Storm Chasers Randy Yarno and Kelly Williamson, the stars of the new Weather Channel show, Storm Wranglers. They're here to, to take your questions this evening. And, and Ryan <laughs> Davidson is behind the bar on Twitter taking everyone's questions. Got a lot of good questions. All you right. guys ready? Yeah. All right. So. 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 <laughs> so, turn your mic on. <laughs> All right, let's throw it up there and let's show people what that first one is. We'll get Ryan's audio squared away here. What do you feel is your most important piece of equipment on your chases, Kelly? I'd say it's the radar. You know, because if I, I'm not an old school chaser, a lot of people are, but I've got to have the technology. And if I can't see what's coming at me, I don't feel very safe. Do you feel like technology's really opened up? You're chasing to a lot of people now. You can get on your phone now. It's opened it up a lot, but you still got to understand what it's telling you. Right. You know, it'll tell you stuff, but I'm still learning every day, you know, some little technical deals. And, uh, you know, it'll tell you stuff if you listen. I'm with you, though. Radar's pretty key. Yeah. <laughs> no question about that. All right. Next. All right. So the second one comes to us from Cal. Cal wants to know, how do you decide where to chase every day and whether or not to? Well, usually when we get up, we look at the SPC. Then we tune into the Weather Channel. Sometimes I'll give Dr. Forbes a call and say, hey, what do you think? <laughs> well, uh, nice to have a guy, an inside guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but, uh, you know, we do some model work and that. You know, we look at everything. That's, I'm, I keep open. I, I try and listen to what everybody around me is saying, you know, even some of the, you know, the other chasers. And then we make our own decision. You know, it may not be the right one, but, you know, we listen to everybody and kind of get a feel of what everybody's thinking and then we go with kind of what we think. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one comes from Sheena. Sheena wants to know, uh, thanks Kelly and Randy for all the people you keep safe. I think we, hand we handle it well because we're well informed. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, and then the question that follows from Stevani, I'm assuming. Storm chasing, so when do you know when to leave when it's too dangerous? Do you have specific ranges to track when it's safe or not? That's just kind of a feeling, you know, that you have to get. Every storm's different. You know, if if you can't see real well, rain wrapped, you know, you kinda gotta back off a little bit. And it's kind of what are, what's around. If you've got a, a tornado that's going out through a just a bare field, you know, it's not gonna throw anything at you, you know, some grass and that. You know, you can get a little bit closer, but if you see it coming up on a barn or a building, you know, you better get back because it's gonna start throwing stuff. So every storm's a little bit different. You just kind of have to watch what's in front of it and what's getting ready to happen. Smart advice. Uh, Jeffrey has the next question. What would you say was your scariest moment while chasing a tornado? Oh, probably the scariest one. Randy could answer that one just about as good as anybody. What do you say, Randy? Well, we had one formed right in front of us one night, one evening. That was pretty scary. How close? 100 yards. I don't know. It, it, it was pretty <laughs> That's close. close. <laughs> it was just right there. What, what happened at that moment then? Where, what'd you do? Well, we stopped. <laughs> we just stopped and got out actually because he couldn't really tell it wasn't moving too much I mean it wasn't just coming right at us but Kelly said let's look and see which way and we figured out what direction it was going and it went the other yeah, way. Yeah, you don't want to get too you. excited. You, you don't want to kind of let it make its move first and then we'll make ours. <laughs> Probably a good call. One more question? Uh, all right, yeah, we have um, this one from Ciara. Is storm tracking anything like what we see in the movies like Twister? You know, it's, it's surprising. You know, it's not the craziness like Twister, but, you know, there's a lot of relate, you know, stuff that relates back you know, to Twister, you know, it, it's kind of neat. I wish they'd make another one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we do, too. A sequel would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. But All right. You, you haven't seen any flying cows yet, have you? No, no. Randy <laughs> thought he did once. <laughs> Steaks mm -hmm. for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Randy, Kelly, thank you so much for being here. Catch you out the new, catch the new show, Storm Wranglers, debuts this Sunday, 9 Eastern, right here on the Weather Channel.